Hello guys, what's up and welcome to the new tutorial from the uh, SketchUp Parker Studio. We have another tutorial about the uh, Perom AI wonderful version for the uh, creating realistic designs and renders with this AI. So Perom AI is like the one software and you need to learn it how to work with it, how to write different type of prompts and how to achieve to the thing that you really want. So, in this case, I'm going to show you how we can work with another feature in Prom AI, which name is AI Image Generator. So, before I click on it, I'm going to click on the award in my computer. And as you can see, I write some prompt before this tutorial. And you can write your own prompt or the thing that's in your mind. So, I'm going to take all of it, Control c Close it in here, click on the AI image generator. So when I click on it, you can see multiple types of the AI generations by the different type of prompt workers. So in this case, I'm going to click on the uh, assets, generation and history, and discover and remix. As you can see, we have different type of things in here, which you can play with it. So in the prompt option, I'm going to click on the prompt writer in here and control V my prompt which I wrote before in this area. So my prompt is ready and you have some option in here which related to the Prom AI feature and the name of it is Enhance Prompt. You can use it if you can't tell the story to the AI but my description is totally complete and I think it can be understandable so I don't want to enhance prompt option in here. In the options bar in here, we have V1 and V2. If I click on the V1, I have a style, scene, and perspective. If I click on the V2, I have a style, scene, and perspective, plus ratio and lighting. So it completely depends on you how you want to use it. I'm going to click on the uh, V1 in here, and you can see what's going on in there. First of all, a style option. I'm going to click on the style option in here and you can see we have multi type of things in here like the realistic, natural, cinematic, commercial or some other things like that. These themes are really useful when you want to create something out of architecture. Maybe some type of fantasy design or some other things like that. So in this case you need to click on the V2 in here, click on the style to see what's going on in there and we have multi type of things in here. I'm going to click on the photography in this case and click on the uh, architecture photography. So I'm going to click on it and come back to the scene here. In this case I'm going to change my scene in here. We have multiple scenes actually architecture, interior, commercial, landscape and some other things like that. So uh, I'm going to click on the scene, architecture, and in here you can see we have building, villa, but none of them are really useful because my prompt is about interior design. So I'm going to click on the interior and absolutely my design is modern and it's about the uh, living room, I think. It's about the, uh, yes, maybe living room. So I'm going to click on the... Uh, living room in here interior selected for me and it's about interior scene you can click on the scene element add some multiple things that you want but right now we have interior style and environment so in this case it's not totally important i'm gonna click on the interior scene number one i don't select interior styles because they are have different prompts and my prompt is unique which I wrote it before so I don't want to change it and make AI a little bit confused so living room selected for me another one is the perspective you can see different type of perspectives in here we have long shot wide angle view ultra long distance and some other things like that in this case I'm gonna I don't know maybe some type of aerial view can be useful, but it's maybe useful for the uh, exterior design. So I'm going to click on the uh, custom. So I will come down, click on the ratio. You can set your resolution right now. For example, 101 is the same resolution in the widths and heights of your picture. 
we have five four four five or different type of things but we need widescreen ratio so Chrome AI gives you all useful ratios in this case so I'm going to click on the uh, 16 9 in here and it's the uh, widescreen click on the uh, lighting in here we have the uh, different type of lights in there but I don't want to use it because I think if I use them my prompt will be damaged and about the negative prompts, I don't want to write some type of, for example, I don't know, maybe some type of things. Only I want to type avoid bad shape and bad texture. I think it can be good. So number of images on the 2 I don't want to use fast mode because Promi is totally fast at the normal mode. So I'm going to click on the generate in here. And it takes a little bit of time. I just want to see that AI image generator, how it works and how it can understand my prompt very well or not. I'm sure about the Prom AI, but we're going to test it out. And this is the tutorial video. So you can learn many types of things about prompt writing, how you write it and what you will have in the final result. So we will wait for it. All right. And as you can see, this is the thing that we have in here. I write so many prompts for it. For example, create highly detailed and realistic render of modern living room. The design should feature a special layout, some type of other things like the color palette, some other things like the stylish furniture, large windows, and some other things like that. And you can see in both of these pictures, we can see the result. And I think it is really fine and wonderful. So. I'm going to download this picture or this one. The choice is yours. I'm going to select this one, for example. So I'm going to click on the uh, download and download it by the uh, full download resolution, for example. I'm going to click on it. It takes a little bit of time and it will download for me. And this is the final result that we have in the Prom AI. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If this tutorial is useful for you, please like and subscribe our YouTube channel. I'm really thankful for your support, for your subscribe, for your watch. And you can follow the Prom AI below this video. I uploaded the link of it for you. Thanks for your time. Thanks for everybody watching. And goodbye.